Chat GPT custom instruction is absolutely game changing and here is why. Start with, I would like to show you a simple acronym expanding bot that I've created. I mean, it's not even a bot, but I'm just calling it a bot. All I have to do is go to chat GPT and then say ACR and then I can give any acronym that I want. So for example, I can say FYI and then when I send it to it, it's going to expand it for me and then it's going to give it to me. I can send it again and then I can ask any acronym. I can just say um, MBR and then MBR, it's going to expand it and then say that it's monthly business review. So how did I manage to do this? It is all possible because of one new feature that ChatGPT or OpenAI introduced a couple of weeks ago. It's called custom instruction. I can go to my settings, like click your profile, click custom instructions, and you can add two sets of instruction. The first one is, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? The second one is, how would you like to how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And there is what you give this instruction. In my case, I've given here, here is the list of macros and commands. I will use these commands and you can follow along. One is expand the acronym. The second one is make it professional. And then the third one is reply as a Python coder. I will use one of these invoke commands like this slash ACR or slash MP and reply based on that. For example, if I send ACR MBR, then you have to expand it as monthly business review. That's all you have to do it. You have to save it. I would like to give you another demo here. So I'm going to just say pi, what is the number between? Uh, I, I just have to say slash pi. How would you, how would you calculate if a word has email ID in it? And it's going to ideally, ideally wanted to write the Python code and it has written the Python code for you all because you could just add an invoke command slash pi. If you're a fan of Alfred on Mac, you would just absolutely love it. And I'm going to dive deeper into how many things that you can do with both profile and the chat GPT instruction. First of all, to start with, how do you enable it? Go click this three buttons or three dots, click settings and beta, and then inside beta features, you have to enable it. By default, it would have disabled it then you cannot do this thing. You would not see custom instructions here. So go here, click settings, click beta features and enable this. Once you enable this, then you, when you click your profile, you can see custom instructions and that's where you can add custom instruction. First of all, what would you like? What would you like chat GPT to know about you provide better responses to provide better responses? What kind of things? So where are you based? What do you work? What are the hobbies and interests you have got? What subjects can you talk about for hours? What are some goals you have got? For example, if you just generally ask ChatGPT to tell you about solar system, ChatGPT doesn't have any profile of yours that will guide ChatGPT about what kind of response that you should give. So OpenAI, when it announced it, they've given a very good example. For example, if you want to just go and say, hey, what would be the three things important to three important things to teach about moon? ChatGPT would give you like this long verbose answer. Sometimes you may not like it, but if you enable the custom instruction that would say that, okay, I work on science education programs for third grade students. And how would you like ChatGPT to respond? When discuss potential solutions for work related items, present the information in a table format, outlining the pros of and cons of each option, allowing for easier comparison and decision making. This is one of the examples. Once you enable this, ChatGPT is going to give you as if you are going to teach third grade students and it also gives you the table that makes it easier for you to compare the pros and cons. It's not the only thing. It is quite helpful for code generation as well. If you just simply go ahead and then ask, write me a code for getting the nth number in the Fibonacci sequence, this is what ChatGPT writes for you. So this is the entire information. But if you go ahead and then enable I'm a software developer and I solely use Golang. Previously, it gave you answer in Python, but you give your profile. You say that, you know what? Like I use Golang, I use only Golang. And how would you like ChatGPT to respond? When I ask you for a code, please just give me the code without any explanation on how it works. This is blessing because, you know, ChatGPT is usually quite verbose in how it responds, but this blessing is means it's not going to give you a lot of response and it's just going to give you the code bias towards the most efficient solution. And finally, you've got grocery list without anything. It might give you all this information. But if you just say, 
what is that you want to do like i live in north carolina with my four children and wife so it knows how many people you are going to cook for and it also knows about how to give the recommendation for example if you know that you have got an allergy or if your family has got an allergy you can go ahead and then add that information so whenever you ask for a recipe chat gpt will keep that in mind how is this all happening like i mean is this a like black magic or something no absolutely not it's absolutely taking some part of your existing prompt and appending this to the prompt so every time you try to chat with chat gpt open ai is sending this information to that prompt like along with that prompt that's how chat gpt remembers what is being happening here so right now you cannot have multiple profiles but it will be extremely fun when you have got multiple profile options let's go ahead and then start playing with this thing first of all i'm going to go ahead and then say chat, chat gpt how would you like chat gpt to respond i'm going to say you should always add a citation when there is a factual question also make sure to add the confidence of your answer and if you want you can add if you do not know please state that you don't know also don't do not add extensive detail about how you are an ai assistant just save that and then start chatting with it what are we going to chat let me start a new chat in the new chat i'm going to just ask who is the founder of apple it's a simple question i just asked who is the founder of apple it said uh, the confidence is high steve jobs is a co-founder of apple it says based on the knowledge and information available so i'm going to go ahead and then once again change the custom instruction i'm going to say you all should always add a citation with a url a valid url and let's save it again and come back and then ask the same question who is the founder of apple now when you ask this question it says it's just based on this let me ask one more question who wrote the paper attention is all you need send this information it gives you the source but it still didn't give the link so that's where you play with the prompt to understand how to make it give the link so this is one example the next one that i wanted to actually show you is let me clear this let me let me go to the custom instruction and then remove how would you like chat gpt to respond but i would add information about myself hey i'm an indian who is um, not very good at english because i'm not a native speaker i love to code in python usually i also like crispy answers i live in bangalore okay this is what the information is and i've saved this is my profile so chat gpt knows who am i i'm going to start the new chat and i'm going to say what are some nice food to have so i just simply ask what are some nice food to have so chat gpt of course knows that i live in bangalore so it's it's you know it's going ahead and then suggesting me things that are nice in bangalore some masala dosa idli sambar biryani pani puri puliyogra chaat Uh, mangalorean seafood filter coffee filter coffee is definitely not some food but that's okay i love filter coffee so you can understand that how this plays out so for example i can go ahead and then ask a question how to make a chart when i say how to make a chart it knows that i'm i code in python so it can give me the information about how to make a chart using python preferably with matplotlib so it's very easy for you to tell chat gpt what it should do and also it's very easy for you to tell chat gpt not to give you an explanation for example you can go ahead and say whenever there is a question about python or any programming just give me the code no need for explanation and i can go ahead save this and then add that information now i can say how to make a chart the same question but when you make the same question it it still gives some kind of explanation um because i think maybe we didn't um enforce it very strictly but the idea is quite simple you have two important fields that you have got one is to define who you are what do you like what kind of things that you do what kind of goals that you have got so that chat gpt knows how to answer better the second one is you can go ahead and then tell chat gpt what kind of response that you want for example one of the thing that everybody almost struggles that for every question 
make sure that you respond as a json object that's it i'm that's that's the only thing that i'm going to give and i'm going to start a new chat and then i'm going to ask it a simple question will it rain tomorrow i'm expecting it to give me a json object let's see so it gave me a response i'm sorry oh my goodness i'm sorry but as an ai language model i don't have real time access to weather to find out this i mean i'm happy that it is a json but i just absolutely hate whenever i see as an ai language model but people on reddit have figured out ways to suppress this using custom instructions i just wanted to let you know that i just absolutely feel that custom instruction is a game changer if you feel like that if you if you felt like that if you have used custom instruction or if you are not aware of custom instruction and this is the first time that you are hearing about it please try it out and let me know in the comment section about what do you feel about custom instructions and if you have got any tips like commands or macros or anything else let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting